Oh, my feet are <laughs> frozen. <laughs> we made the very, very, very silly mistake of forgetting to bring fit box on the floor. It's so cold. This is basically a recipe on how to get sick in Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Budapest. It's our first time visiting Hungary and in our last couple of vlogs, we tried some local foods, explored some amazing places and even got involved in everything festive across Christmas. I got my mobile. Yeah, boy. But it smells amazing. But for our last day in Budapest, we will be heading to some more local hangouts and ticking off a place that has long been on our bucket list in this amazing city. We're James and Alex, and we are on a European tour visiting some major cities, exploring everything there is to see, do and eat. We'd love for you to stick around so we can take you along for the journey. So as you can tell here this morning in Budapest, it is pretty cold. So what better way to warm ourselves up than stripping down half naked, going outside, but getting into some thermal baths here in Budapest. I think we're mad. But first we're gonna go grab a coffee and then that'll be the perfect way to start the day. Since being in Budapest, we have been pleasantly surprised with the quality of barista coffee. We found this cute little place called Madal, which was walking distance from our apartment. Madam. They have a small selection of pastries and they even sell their own beans and merchandise. Every day it was packed with locals and we couldn't resist a cheeky flat white to kickstart the day. Now here is a very useful tip. We are struggling to find any vending machines to purchase any tickets that allows us to get onto the metro. I have no idea. <laughs> Where do we get a ticket? We've just gone down into the metro and there's nowhere to buy tickets, not even any vending machines. So we've come back up into the square to get some internet access so we can download the Budapest Go app. Now by downloading the Budapest Go app, we can pay for our tickets online. And I believe once we go back down into the station, we can verify said tickets by using the QR code to validate it. Sounds simple, right? Yay! Yay. That was 700 half for two tickets for a single journey, which is 80 cents, the same as what we paid the other day. I'll huff and I puff and I'll blow this metro down. Round two. Oh, just missed one. I've heard about five go How five. do we even get on that side though? Oh yeah. Where I'm so do we, tired. Where do we validate? Um, I think you do it on the door. Oh, what? Oh, Okay, so after all of that drama of failing to find a ticket machine and ordering the tickets online, we were told off by an inspector that we were actually on the wrong platform. Of course we were. Why is it so hard just to get onto the metro? This was a massive fail. I morning. don't understand. <laughs> oh, found it. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a ticket machine. Oh my God. Always make sure you validate your ticket if you do buy a single fare, as you might have ticket inspectors on board to check if you have a valid ticket. If you're wondering what we're using to pay with while we are on holiday, we're using our multi-currency card from Wise. I know this sounds like an ad, but it's really not. We've just tried so many different currency cards over the years, and this is by far our favorite. We've popped a link in the description below if you want any more information on this. I think we're actually mad. I'm very keen to see how many other people are in the bar. I'm assuming we're not the only crazy ones here. So if you are wondering what baths we have decided to visit here in Budapest, this is, if I'm not mistaken, pronounced Seicheni. Seicheni. I do apologize for our pronunciation. If you've been following us for a while, you know our pronunciation in other languages is never the best. Look, we're trying. It's not as bad as San Gimigano. <laughs> San Gimigano. San Gimigano. San Gimigano. San Gimigano. San Gimigano. Which was pronounced San Gimignano. So we've been given two wristbands to get in. I think it includes, this is our locker. And now we just gotta go and get changed. So we really couldn't film too much inside for privacy reasons, but we did make our way downstairs to the male and female changing rooms. Just quickly, here are some things that we would recommend you bring on the day. Now with our tickets, we had locker access. They were the tall ones with plenty of room inside for your clothes. Once you're ready, you can make your way upstairs in your bathing suit with your towel. These baths are massive. There are so many different baths actually inside the building, all of which you have access to. There are even saunas as well. After getting lost inside for what felt like 10 minutes, we finally made it outside into the freezing cold. 
Honestly, we really recommend bringing a bathrobe or at least an extra towel to keep warm, especially during the winter months. Oh, my feet are I frozen. We made the very, very, very silly mistake of forgetting to bring flip flops on the floor. It's so cold. This is basically a recipe on how to get sick in Budapest. <laughs> so cold you can't even see the pool <laughs> they also have hooks and places to put your bag so if you are concerned about bringing out your phone uh, or valuables you can bring them outside there's even lockers as well so if you wanted to you can put your valuables just in there so pretty good the uh the gopro is steaming up already but <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm going in go on in <laughs> Too hot? Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Should we go into the middle? Alright. Ginny was sleeping, it burns because of how cold it is outside. But I'm nice and zen now. The only problem is I'm already thinking about having to get out. It's going to be even colder because we're going to be soaking wet. It's currently 28 degrees in here, but it is 6 outside. It's cold. So there are a few alternative tickets that you can buy when coming to these thermal baths, but we'll put all of the prices in the description below for you. Oh, oh it is cold. Where do you want to go? Grab the back. <laughs> okay, so we've gone from one end of the bars and now we're going to go check out the other end because apparently it's warmer. It's now seven degrees and I'm absolutely freezing. So outside there are three main sections. On either end there are two pools, one of which is warmer than the other, which naturally is the more popular one with visitors. And the middle section is a pool where people can swim their laps. The overall architecture of this building is amazing and to think people have been coming here for over a hundred years is pretty cool. This is the live. <laughs> Let's just stand here all day. Yeah. I don't think we need to go anywhere else in Budapest. We're just no. in the thermal bath. Um, Prosecco, please. Prosecco? <laughs> Anyone? Prosecco? No? Damn, they don't have any good service around here. Yeah. Now that we've had our swim, it is time for a feed. It was amazing. Hands down, one of the best things you can do in Budapest. There is a cool place we've researched which offers street food in a hidden courtyard, so we just had to check it out. We've arrived to Street Food Caravan. I think we've got here at kind of like a, a bit of an in-between time. It's okay, at least it's not round. Let's have a little loop around and see what we've got going on. That looks so naughty. Grilled chicken, smoked mozzarella, chipotle mayo and crunchy onion. Let's <laughs> go out of your street, James. Boy, it does. So we literally cannot decide what food to get. So for now, we're going to tuck in, not into food, into a pint of beer. Draft beer? Yeah. So we have made it to Caravan Street Food on the Pest side of Budapest. As soon as you walk in, you are spoiled for food with food trucks on either side, offering pretty much everything you can think of. Like, we were struggling to decide what to get. You have wraps, burgers, langosh, goulash, goulash burgers, vegan burgers, langosh burgers, more wraps. So instead, we ended up with two beers and we still haven't picked any food yet. So no. we'll see how these go and then maybe we'll get some food. One chicken wrap coming right up. After a great deal of indecisiveness, we settled for a grilled chicken wrap and it did not disappoint. Right next door to Caravan Street Food is one of Budapest's famous ruin bars. After World War II, lots of buildings in the old Jewish quarter had been left to ruin. In the early 2000s, a few people transformed these buildings into the coolest underground bars and pubs, earning them the title of ruin bars. From the outside, it could be mistaken for any rundown building, but inside is a mix of graffiti art, vintage furniture, and cool spaces. It is such a unique space, and you are spoilt for choice with bars and seating across different levels. There's actually a handful of ruin bars across Budapest, but we visited what is known as Budapest's best ruin bar, Simpler Kurt. Absolutely loved ruin bars. There's everything. There's a wine bar, there's another bar you can go upstairs. There's just huge areas, huge space. And the best thing about it in winter is there are loads of radiators. So we pretty much just huddled up next to the radiator to keep warm the whole time. We ended up getting two beers, which cost 3,000 huff, which is pretty decent. I'm not sure how much exactly in euros, but we know it's not a bad deal. So yeah, highly recommend ruin bars, pretty cool space. 
So that rounds up our time in Budapest. If you missed our last couple of vlogs, feel free to go back and see what else we managed to get up to in this amazing city. We'd love you to stick around as we will be exploring some more beautiful places across Europe over the next few weeks with Bratislava up next. See you on the next video. It looks like a Disneyland church or something. It's blue. It's amazing.